Good morning, Barstow. I'm Haley. And I'm Carly. How's your week before finals going so far? Good, but you know, it can be a little bit stressful. How about you? It's going pretty smoothly, but I'm looking forward to the senior faculty breakfast on Friday morning at 7.30. Sounds like fun. I'm also looking forward to the lower school winter concert at 9 a.m. tomorrow and 7 p.m. tomorrow. But if you missed the middle and upper school winter concert last night, check out our live stream. Speaking of music, 6th graders Isabel Cudi, Alexis Wilson, Raj Vanaswala, Dylan Markey, Kenneth Siebert, Cheetan Thomas, and Will Jenkins participated in the KC Metro Choir. Congrats, 6th graders. We would also like to congratulate senior Kate Walsworth for being featured in the Fox 4 News Reaching for Excellence segment last Wednesday. We are proud of all of your success, Kate. And just one final reminder that all applications for global education trips to France and Australia are due next Thursday. Here's Mrs. Blatchley with more. So don't forget to sign up for the trips to Australia and France. Um, deadline is December 14th, so there, you still have a little time to sign up. Please come see me if you have any questions about the trips or how to sign up. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. We also have summer trips. One of them is going to be to China, and the deadline is uh, to sign up is March 30th. So please come see me and bring your applications. Thanks, Mrs. Blatchley. Haley, have you gone on any of those trips? Unfortunately, I have not, but I hear they are a lot of fun. Have you? No, I haven't. Well, I think it sounds fun. I'm sure I'd miss my little sister too much. I get what you mean. Here's Gwen with a piece about sibling relationships. Siblings. They're always there for you. No matter what, you can always count on them. But. What will it be like once they're gone? My sister's name is Sophia, but um, we call each other like Scooch. I'm not really sure where it came from, we just do it. Or like any other kind of name, I call her Soph a lot. Um, and so she graduated in 2016 and she goes to Georgetown. My brother Zuhair, he graduated last year and he's going to Rice University this year. My sister is Lily Tucker and she graduated in 2016. Uh, she goes to Boston University, so that's really far away, which kind of makes it difficult with the time difference and everything. Um, to stay in touch, Soph and I, we have like a snap streak, so we try to like Snapchat every day and just like, even if it's just like a little bit, to like catch up on like what we've been doing. And then we'll try to like call or FaceTime, especially if like something big happens just so that we like know what's going on in each other's lives and we'll text a lot too. And I'll send her pictures of my dogs to kind of like keep her like updated. Uh, we text each other often and over the weekend, my family usually gathers around and we FaceTime him. It's sort of the only time we can talk with each other nowadays. Usually we'll FaceTime or text. Snapchat is like really handy because she posts a lot on her story. So it's easy to just swipe up and, you know, send her a meme or something. Tucker meme game is always on point, that's what I've been told. Um, things are a lot different. It's really weird being alone in the house with my parents. Like when she was here, I'd always have someone to go to things with and just kind of like a best friend to have around. Um, so it's kind of weird now that she's gone and just not having someone to like tell everything to like that. Um, and also just like not seeing her. We would always like go to coffee shops and do homework together and that kind of thing. So now like, I guess we don't have that and we don't get to like see each other at all. It's sort of weird not having him in the house because he was there for like 17 years. It's just not the same without him there. Since she's in Boston, she's just so far away and I'm used to like, hey, can you give me a ride? Or hey, let's go hang out and do this thing. But we can't so much do that now and it's just, I mean, with distance the heart grows fonder, but I, you know, I really miss her, so.
We don't see each other very much. Thanksgiving, we go to New York, so we get to see each other then. And then she comes home for Christmas, so probably like three weeks total a year. Over Columbus Day weekend, he had his fall break, so we got to see each other then. That's the last time I've seen him, other than FaceTime. We see each other whenever she has a break, really. She didn't even come home for the summer that long because she had a job up in Boston. So we never see each other, which is a little bit sad. But uh, when she does come around, I just try and cherish every moment that she's home because with the distance, it's just hard to really connect anymore. Yeah, I miss him a lot. He was uh, one of my best friends. She's like my best friend, so it's hard not having her here. I love her so much, and I can't wait till she comes home, but I really do miss her. She was a fundamental part of like our family dynamic, and just it was nice to be able to go into her room when I was scared or just feeling confused or something like that, and just hang out with her, and we talk about ridiculous things, and. Uh, so that was, that was always really nice. <laughs> yeah. Great piece. Don't forget, finals are next week, so talk to your teachers about any zeros in the grade book. Also, after finals, when you are looking for that perfect Christmas gift, Hyped Casey will be open in Town Center December 16th and 17th from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Well, that's all we have for y'all today. Thank you for having me, Haley. Anytime, Carly. Have a good, great Wednesday, Barstow.